Hello, good afternoon. How's everybody doing? I'm here with another special video. Um, today's video is going to be about how to make pepinos locos or crazy cucumbers. They are a special treat in Mexico. Um, I am Mexican, so I am going to um, show you how to make them. They are so simple, so easy. And anytime you have a craving for something sweet, chili, and um, fresh, you can always eat one of these. They are so delicious. And let's get to so, the video. For this stuff, you're gonna need one cucumber. You're going to need these, um, what do you call them? Japanese peanuts with chili. You can get them at any um, Hispanic store. I saw some some at the Dollar Tree. You can make these in any type of way, any quick way. You're gonna need some of this, it's tahin. You need some of that. You're going to need some type of candy. This is, um, I don't know how to say that in English. I'm very sorry. But it's a natural fruit and candy. You're also going to need some chamoy. And I actually have some in this little bottle right here. See? Chamoy. So those are the ingredients you're going to need. You're all going to need a place where you're going to put them. As you can see, I've already cut my cucumbers. So I'm not going to be using this one. And you will need to peel them. And um, as you can see, these cucumbers, this was one. I just cut it in three. You do not peel the inside all the way to the bottom. So you're going to scrape the inside with this part of the spoon. You can use a fork as well, but with this part of the spoon is perfect. You're going to scrape the inside, not all the way to the bottom, so that you can be able to put your stuff inside. As you know, you do not um, clean these as um, you would see in other videos where you start rubbing the milk out of them. Um, since you don't do that, <clears throat> I advise you to put some type of paper towel while you're getting everything else ready, wipe out the excess milk that comes out. Okay, so what you're going to be doing for this is, um, oh, I'm sorry, you're also going to need some lemons, some limes. You can use yellow or green, whatever works best for you. So for this video, I mean for this part, I'm sorry, we are going to be Placing, you can use two types of plates, one for this and one for this, or you can use your same place where you were cutting um, on the cutting board. You could do half and half, since I'm just doing one, I'll be doing half and half so that I can cover them. So let's get okay. to that part. So I'm going to be grabbing the chamoy first, and I'm going to be putting one little spot of chamoy. You can make it a big spot or a small spot, whatever works for you. And then I'm going to be putting some of this. This is brand new. I'm gonna put some of this. It's brand new, gotta open it first. Oh, there you go. So I'm going to put some of that. You gotta shake it sometimes. kind of digging in it right now sorry because I guess it's a little there we go so I guess in the store it's been there for some time that you can't take it out all right so we are first going to grab one of them and we're going to dip it in our chamoy so face down we're going to dip it into the chamoy um, as you can see my clock just almost three o'clock so as you dipped it you're going to Sprinkle it onto the um, pepper type seasoning, and it'll look like this. So we are going to do that with all three. As you see, all three of them are ready. They look beautiful. You can now open 
your seeds. Okay, so you open your seeds. Ah, making a mess here. Sorry for the angle. So you open your seeds. I'm going to wash this real quick to take out the excess because I'm going to make the cutting board for me. So you can just um, put some water on it to wash it off, whatever you like. So I just washed it off. Going to clean out the excess water because I don't want the water all over it. So I'm going to switch them to my cutting board as a more presentable um, thing, more presentable way. I'm sorry for the view. Let me try fixing that view for you guys. Uh, there you go. Now you can see it better. There we go. All right. So I'm going to be opening. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to open it. I'm going to open my um, Japanese seeds. I'm going to put oh, a few inside, maybe two, three. Sorry for the view. All right, there we go. I'm going to put like maybe two, three inside. Um, oh, I'm put like two or three. And then you can put some on the outside for decoration. Or you can just put, um, you don't really have to put any for decoration if you don't like. I'm sorry for the view. I don't have my stand with me. So I'm going to grab a lemon. And I'm going to cut it in half. Put one to the side. I'm going to sprinkle some on top. Make it juicy. Okay, this one has seeds, but you can always use one that doesn't have seeds. Put some more chamoy on it. Put some more lemon. Get it a good juicy part. Now, we're going to open our sweet candies. You can get these at a Mexican store. Sometimes they sell it at Mexican restaurants. But you can always get it at a Mexican store. So I'm going to use this part of the cutting board to cut this. So it comes like a fruit roll up or something like that. It comes with a little seed inside as well. So I'm going to use this one to decorate. So I'm going to put some right here. As you can see, it's a really hard candy. Oop. Oh, there you go. All right, now I'm going to use this one. I'm going to cut this one in little strips. Always have a fine knife with you to be able to cut it. So you could put it like that, or you can decorate however you want to make it look nice. This fine candy is really hard to cut. You can always use your kitchen scissors, whatever is best for you. So I'm cutting this part. And it looks like a bloody seam, but it's not. So this candy looks like a fruit roll-up. You can make these however you like. You can use different types of um, ingredients. But it's always to make it sweet, sour, fresh, and whatever makes good for you. So, after I'm done, I'll just put like maybe another one. Oops. So, there we go. There's that. I'm going to put this one over to the side. Let me cut it a little bit more. So, just put that one over there to the side. Put this one here. Let me go ahead and clean all this excess juice all right so now that you have that you can always add some more of this if you like i also have another um special thing you can use 
Um, it's called Miguelito, and I accidentally don't know where I misplaced it. But you can use that as well. It's sweet and salty, but it is very delicious in that perspective. I have no clue where I left it. But yes, when I have it, I will post it. But um, I don't know where it's at at this moment. Well, as you can see, there you have that. I'm going to put some more of this, of this. But this time I have to go with the knife um, or spoon, same one I was using, to kind of cut it a little bit because it was stuck to the bottle. So for it to work, I'm going to have to, there we go, sprinkle some more on top. You can sprinkle excess um, chamoy to it, make it delicious, make it any way you like. Sprinkle some excess. You can put some more lime to it or lemon, whatever works best for you. Some more, um, some more of these little munchkins. And there you have it. So I'll give you a close up. So this is what it looks like. And now we're going to taste it. So I'm going to taste it now. I grabbed one. It looks so delicious. So, here we go. Mmm. Really good. You can hear the crunchiness, the flavor to it. Mm. Mm. The flavor is delicious. As you know, there you have it. This is something simple, easy, and delicious you can make. Um, this is like a snack you can have while watching TV, a snack you can have while you have a party, any type of situation. This is a good snack. I will post more snacks that you can eat and that are sweet, um, fresh, and sour. And there you have it. So um, if you like this video... Give it a thumbs up, comment what you would like me to do next, and please subscribe, hit that pe uh, bell so you can get more notifications when I post videos, and as you know, this is me. I'd love to see all you guys connected to my videos. I would love to make more videos, so if you like this video, keep watching my next videos. And there you got it. Have a wonderful and safe day, afternoon, night, whatever it is to you. Love you guys and be safe.